New Orleans Talk Radio Outlaw. <coughs> New Orleans Talk Radio Outlaw. John Osterland. Chicken and watermelon is my favorite restaurant. It's on South Claiborne Avenue. Chicken and watermelon is all I want. Whether it's 8 p.m. or high noon, I just love chicken and watermelon. I just love chicken and watermelon. Hey, how's it going? We're just handing out uh, hustlers. We want you to uh, stay warm. <laughs> Thank you very much. Because it's going to be cold the next couple of nights. You going to be okay? Yeah. Uh, well, I'm going to try to be. I mean, it's kind of cold. It's kind of cold, but I got like 15 blankets and a hustler magazine. So. Yeah. Now you got some porn. What's your favorite thing in there? You like that the girls when they to play with each other? No, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I like that. Yeah, that's good. I like this. I like that. But. All right. Well, hey, we're just looking out. We just want you to stay warm and be careful. Hey. Hey, thank y'all very much. We need people like you around here. All right, God bless you. The residents of a rural New Hampshire town will have a chance to vote today on whether to rename a fishing and skating spot that's been called Jew Pond since the 1920s. Mount Vernon, New Hampshire is where this is. Their town health officer, Rich Masters, pushed for the vote after the name appeared in a news report about algae bloom at the pond. I guess in the newspaper when they said, oh, there's algae bloom over at Jupon. your soul that's what i'm talking about have you ever gotten along with john madden i know that he was upset because I, that's what was pretty much what made you a household name you're yeah. madden yeah I know. or at least a like a garage name a <laughs> basement yeah. yeah the uh i met him at the super bowl a couple of years ago it was at the four seasons hotel in dallas not important to the, the story i just want you to know where i stayed uh <laughs> and uh he's standing there and jimmy johnson standing next to him and i'm like jimmy can you believe i'm this close to john Madden? He's like, what yeah man taps man on the shoulder man what is it oh and the look on his face was like when Shaggy and Scooby see the bad guy popping to the barrel. Like, like Shaggy Scooby, like, let's get out of here. So, uh. He knew exactly who you were because. Oh, yeah. Because I remember you would do some radio shows, and sometime in the beginning, some people actually thought they were listening to Madden. And yeah. They didn't say it's Frank Caliendo. And that was one of the things that people would always, and then he, uh, one of the things that I would always heard, he'd say something like, you know, he's saying ridiculous things, or people think it's me. <laughs> <laughs> So when you're walking around Radio Row here, people are thinking that, oh, he must be talking like Bad now. No, he's talking like yeah. Caliendo. Yeah. Well, Frank, we really appreciate it. I hit the food court, and then I got some chicken. Then I picked off my phone. I took some pictures of girls who wasn't looking. Then I took my pictures home. I smoked crack, cocaine, and then I flicked off the phone. I put the pipe down. I pulled my pants down, and then I polished my chrome. Ain't no place to be on Mardi Gras day, Mardi Gras day. Can't pee till you get home on Mardi Gras day. Sing along, John. Mardi Gras day. That's right. Pee till you get home on Mardi Gras day, Mardi Gras day. That's right. Even if you stay across the causeway, baby. Can't pee till you get home on Mardi Gras day. John Osterlin on Rush Radio 99.5 WRDO. No, uh, right before and during and after Hurricane Isaac came through, uh, WRNO, along with the other uh, seven clear channel radio stations in this cluster, uh, we did something, in my opinion, that was historic and something that I will never forget in my radio career. We uh, took all of these radio stations, whether it's hip-hop or R&B or country or whatever 104 is playing today, and uh, we take all those together, and we all 
simulcast it here on WRNO for our Operation Stormwatch coverage. They say that seven out of every ten people who were listening to the radio around them were listening to us. And that was wild. We all moved in here to the radio station, and we had three teams. Two, three, four. Today is going to be the day that the feds are coming after you. By now, you should have somehow realized what you're not to do. I don't believe there's anybody more clueless than you. Who's the mayor? Who's the mayor? Who's the mayor? Who's the mayor? 180 grand on city credit. (laughs) All right. Ladies, what does the vast deference connect? The vast deference. Yeah, I don't know any of these body parts. You didn't go to biology class that day? No. Nope. The vast deference to the wee wee. Wee wee. Wee wee. Wee With every edge king for real not fake. With icing and cream cheese. Cares how many calories that it's king for real not fake. Whether or not it has pralines, it is truly New Orleans and it's king. Rush Radio 99.5 WRNO. Are you tired of idiots like this voting? Why are you here? To get some money. Where's it coming from? Obama. And where did Obama get it? I don't know. His stash. I don't know. Hi, John Osterlin here. On behalf of Stop the Vote, an organization dedicated to reducing the number of people who vote in America. 63% of eligible voters went to the ballot box in 2008, and I believe we can get that number much lower. Why, you ask? Growing food is so good because it's free. That's why. Too many idiots are voting and canceling the informed votes of citizens who are actually paying attention to what's going on in D.C. instead of the Jersey Shore. Voter ID laws are a good start, and we know this is a great idea because Al Sharpton is against it. They have one goal, stop blacks, Latinos, elderly, and the poor from voting. So I implore you, if you talk to an idiot today, tell them the election was canceled. Tell them there's drug testing for voters this year. Tell them MTV's Rock the Vote is talking about American Idol. Tell them anything it takes, but try to keep all the brain-dead, self-absorbed morons as far away from the ballot box as possible.
Indeed, I love them. But 